minutes like I'm gonna need y'all to relax like I'm going to need y'all to relax the first 10 minutes of the movie and I'm already seeing bare booty cheek getting kissed like Welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Autumn Lathia. Today I'm going to be doing a movie review on Malcolm and Marie. This movie was directed and written by Sam Levinson. The two lead and sole actors in the movie, Zendaya and John David Washington, their performances were outstanding and they deserve to be highlighted. So here I am. <laughs> but yeah, I just want to reiterate that this is a spoilers review. So I don't want anybody to go in the comments and be like, oh my God, she just told the whole movie. Ah, because I'm going to be looking at you like, <laughs> okay. Now that that is out of the way, basically I want to start off with something I saw a lot of people talking about on Twitter, but a lot of people were kind of not bothered, just, well I guess bothered, by the age difference between Zendaya and John David Washington. And honestly, like, I get it, like I get it. She's 24, he's what, 36. Realistically, if you were in the situation of having to be like romantic or sexual with somebody who's literally like 11, 12 years older than you, I'm pretty sure you would be uncomfortable. Yes, it's not a real relationship. It's just, you know, acting and they are actors on a movie. But the idea of, I don't know, for me, that's what made me uncomfortable. Like when they had like their little romantic scenes or whatever, like in the back of my head, I'm just like, he's 11 years older than her. But yeah, I get it. Now, one thing I definitely didn't agree with was like, some people were trying to say that we're infantilizing Zendaya, but it's like, you can't ignore the fact that she's exclusively played high school students. Like, Shake It Up, Casey Undercover, the Spider-Man movies, Euphoria, like she has only played high school characters. So it's not really that much of a stretch for people to be like, oh, I'm kind of uncomfortable seeing her with a grown man. So I'm gonna get onto the movie. I'm gonna do like the quickest summary possible. Basically, it's about a movie director, Malcolm, and his girlfriend, Marie. She was an aspiring actress, but she didn't really, you know, go the full route. So basically, they come home from an awards show. We don't get to see the awards show, we just see them when they get home. He received his award and forgot to thank Marie. After thanking everybody under the sun, he forgot her. Later on in the movie, we find out that the film he made was actually based off of Marie's life which was another reason why she was so upset about him forgetting her because how can you be the main influence of a movie and then not get thanked? So basically they argue literally like six times throughout the movie and then the movie ends with them not arguing. The end. <laughs> kind of in relation to what I was talking about earlier with like, you know, people being uncomfortable with the age gap. That was me, you know, the first 10 minutes of the movie, we see Malcolm kissing on Marie's bare butt. And I'm just like, in the first 10 minutes, like, I'm gonna need y'all to relax. Like, I'm going to need y'all to relax. The first 10 minutes of the movie and I'm already seeing bare booty cheek getting kissed. Like, those parts obviously made me uncomfortable because of what I obviously stated. But other than that, I actually really liked the movie. I thought it was beautifully done. One thing I will say, Malcolm, like throughout the movie, he's steady like talking about how, oh my God, I can't believe you're doing this. Like you're starting arguments on my special day. Like I just wanted to come home and celebrate with you and I can't even do that. But if you watch literally like the first 25 minutes of the movie, Marie explicitly tells him, just let it go. Like do not ask me what's wrong because you're not gonna wanna hear what I have to say. So just don't even ask. And he just keeps pressing and pressing and pressing and pressing. And that's what gets me upset. Like obviously Malcolm is the villain. Like this man is the sole villain of this movie. Now Marie, she has bad qualities, don't get me wrong. But Malcolm, like he just antagonized her the entire time. She even made him dinner without saying a word. She wanted him to have a good night, but clearly he did not want himself to have a good night. It's like he just wanted to start an argument and that's exactly what he got six times over oh my god speaking of that mac and cheese i know y'all saw how he was eating that i was literally sitting in my bed cringing i was just like why is he eating this mac and cheese like this but like one thing i noticed is that malcolm has ego problems okay he has to be you know the sole center of attention everything has to revolve around him instead of him being understanding that oh you know i made this movie based on my girlfriend's life and i forgot to acknowledge her and thank her for that at this huge award ceremony where i got this award for the movie based on her life i should probably apologize and be understanding to her situation but no he's not a reasonable person so of course he makes everything about himself and he's actually mad at her for being mad at him how are you mad at your girlfriend for being upset that you forgot her. Like, it's just not making sense. Like, the math ain't mathing. My thing about it is, how can you sit here, acknowledge everybody under the sun, 
about this movie, you know, and of course they had a role in the movie, but your main muse, you couldn't remember to thank her. Like the entire story is basically based off of her life. Marie touched on this in the movie and I fully agreed. Like, I'm pretty sure he didn't thank her because basically he just didn't want somebody else to get the attention for his movie. Obviously if the movie is based on her and if he would have acknowledged that it was based on her, everyone would have been giving her praises. Obviously he would get a little bit, but not as much as he wanted because once again, he has a huge ego. Things have to always be about him. Everything has to go his way. And only his feelings matter because clearly, as you saw, he kept bashing her over and over and over, throwing really sensitive topics that she shared with him in her face. That really bothered me as well. Marie has her issues, but she's been trying to work through them. And I just felt like it was really messed up for Malcolm to throw her problems in her face. Marie has nobody. Like all she has is Malcolm. And she even says that like, you're all that I have and you treat me this way. And Malcolm, like he has all these people rooting for him in Hollywood, you know, he has her, he has his own family and Marie doesn't have that. She just wants him, the only thing that she has to appreciate her and he can't even do that. That's really heartbreaking to know you put your all into somebody. You gave up your own dreams to help somebody else achieve theirs and you know, they can't even properly thank you, let alone appreciate your contribution to their project. I just feel like Malcolm was very selfish and he didn't hold himself accountable for anything. He just kept taking credit for everything. But when it came to owning up to his mistakes and what he could have done better, he did not know how to do that at all. And that was the main flaw of his. Now, one thing I will say about Marie, one of her arguments was that, you know, she should have been in the movie that was about her. And I agree, but it's also like, you know, people can't force you to do something you don't wanna do. He told her about the movie. She originally was going to try out for it and then she didn't. Whose fault really is that? She's not gonna drag you to do the audition, you know, like you have to want it. And I don't think she wanted it bad enough. Like obviously she wanted to be a part of it, but I don't know what was holding her back. Maybe she couldn't relive that through a camera. I'm not really sure. Well, I did empathize with her, but it's also like, girl, you can't be mad that he didn't put you in a movie when he literally told you about it. He gave you what you needed to be able to audition and you just didn't do it. Like, now the scene that really bothered me, I know y'all remember when Marie, she's sitting in the tub, they just finished arguing and she's trying to, you know, relax, have a nice self care night, whatever. And then here comes Malcolm, drunk, just ready to start another fight. When I tell y'all, Malcolm was literally jumping through hoops to explain why this movie was not based on Marie. Like he was bringing up Kiki and all types of people, trying to give every excuse in the book why, oh, this movie isn't based on you. It's based on all the women that I've had experiences with and I used it as a collective to make this film. My thing is, yes, people become inspired by different people in different situations in their life. That happens all the time. But at the same time, when you see movies that are based on a true story, yeah, they may add different elements like drama or romance that weren't originally part of the story, but it's still based on that story. Hence why they add based on a true story. Me personally, I feel like he was jumping through all those hoops to make sure that she knew it wasn't about her because if he acknowledged that it was about her, he would have to acknowledge, you know, how great of a part she played. Like if it wasn't for her life, he wouldn't have had the movie. It makes him feel guilty. So in order to feel less guilty and not feel bad about forgetting to thank her at this award ceremony, he has to make it not about her. He has to remove her from it and make it seem like it was his idea all along. She just, you know, added bits and pieces to it. And that's just incorrect because she added the entire thing. At one point he had brought up how she had nail scissors and she cut herself and that was in the movie. So it's like, you literally took this event, like the entire event, like you didn't tweak anything. Like you took the entire event that happened in her life, put it in your movie and was like, yeah, but this ain't about you though. <laughs> This not about you, baby, even though it clearly was. Another thing about this movie that like a lot of, I saw a lot of like reviews about the movie and people were saying like, oh, it tried so hard to be like political. Like I feel like it took away from the movie, blah, blah, blah. To say that they were trying to be political or have like a deep philosophical like meaning to it. It's just so far from what the movie was actually doing. Like Malcolm goes on at least two rants about this, how why can't he just be a black director who creates movies and tells stories? Not every story needs to have a message. Not every story needs to have some political agenda. Like literally sometimes a story is just that, a story. And this also like kind of dives into people wondering what the message of Malcolm and Marie was in general. They're just, that was the message. There was no message. The whole point is that sometimes you just want to tell a story. That's it. 
Like not everything needs to be a lesson to be learned or teaching you something. Sometimes you just wanna creatively show an experience and share it with other people. So they're sharing it with us and we're receiving it and that's as far as it goes. With this movie, like Malcolm and Marie, there wasn't anything that you needed to like Google to get or you needed to rewatch. Everything they wanted you to see was right there, like in plain sight. No hidden agendas, no hidden message, no any of that. Now, one thing I will say was that I really enjoyed having only two characters in the movie because I feel like anything more than two would probably just take away from the plot, which I feel just wanted you to pay attention to their relationship and the struggles within that relationship. So anything more, like more characters, more sets, I feel like that would have been distracting and taken away from what they really wanted you to pay attention to. Honestly, I'm not team Marie, I'm not team Malcolm because both of them are toxic. Both of them have things they need to work through in order for their relationship to work. But I will say that I feel more for Marie than I do Malcolm because Malcolm, he feels like everything is supposed to go his way. Like he thinks all the critics are supposed to love everything he puts out. Any opinion that isn't praising him is stupid in his eyes. So he just thinks the world revolves around him. That also obviously plays out in their relationship. Marie, like she's the opposite. Like she gives, gives, gives. She's willing to do things she doesn't even want to do just for the sake of, you know, not having an argument. And I feel like he didn't appreciate that. This review might have been all over the place. I'm not really used to doing movie reviews. So sorry about that. Hopefully, you know, the next one will be better. But yeah, honestly, I just had so much to say about this movie because I just thought it was so beautifully done and for it to be so different. One thing that really drew me to this movie was that it was in black and white and I've never seen like a modern movie in black and white before like and it's just so stripped down it forced you to listen to the dialogue and not get distracted by other things everything was just so beautiful about it the movie soundtrack the costume design like everything fit the theme that they were going for I think Zendaya said like 22 people worked on this movie in its entirety and to know that like that small amount of people made such a beautiful film is just it's mind-blowing like they really did a great job honestly although I had a few of my own critiques about the movie I still really enjoyed it and I would honestly recommend that you watch it yeah so I'm not gonna ramble any longer thank you so much for watching and I hope you liked it leave what you thought about the movie in the comments if you agree with what I said let me know if you don't agree with what I said you can still let me know because I'm not Malcolm so I can handle opinions thank you of course I'm trying to film this outro my dog is being really annoying so I'm gonna try and make it quick thank you for watching the video don't forget to like comment and subscribe that helps me a lot. I haven't been active for like a really long time, so I'm trying to get back onto YouTube. So if y'all can, you know, like, comment, and subscribe for me, that would be really great. I hope you have a great day and see you soon. Bye.